how are you doing? I am here with my empties video for the month of January. It has really been a long time <laughs> since I've done an empties video. I don't know why. Like, I just, I guess I forgot or something. Um, yeah, so I actually remembered this month to save my stuff. And so I have my empties video for January. Nothing too exciting, to be honest. Um, but I was able to use through a couple of my samples. And I'm trying to, after I organized my cabinets of horror, um, I was able to see, you know, what samples I had and organize all my samples. And so I'm trying to, you know, start working through some of those. Um, I actually canceled my Starbucks because I have so much makeup. Um, and so I still get Ipsy and Birchbox and Square Hue and all of that, but um, that's about it because I skip my Julep box mainly every month because I just am not that impressed or maybe I'm just over it for the moment. Um, but I really just get my Square Hue box, my Ipsy and my Birchbox and Birchbox I pay for a year at a time. Um, so yeah, so no Starbox, no more of that. Trying to work through some of my samples now that they're organized and I can actually like see what I have for once. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what I used up in the month of January and then I'm gonna throw it all away. So the first thing I used up is so exciting. I used up Q-tips. Yay! This is 750 Q-tips. And this brings me to a point. Why are Q-tips so expensive? Like, you could go to Dollar General and get the off-brand one or like the Swispers or whatever, and they're like a dollar, but if you actually get the Q-tip brand, I think this thing was like four or five bucks. Like, I don't understand why they're so expensive. They are so expensive, I don't get it. And I know that one of these lasts you like several months, and so it's really not that much when you divide it out how many cents it is per swab, but it's like, I hate dropping like five bucks just on Q-tips. So I don't know. I just feel like Q-tips are a ripoff, just like toilet paper is a ripoff and other things like that. Like, I don't know. So anyway, I used up some Q-tips and I paid like my four or five dollars to get a new one of these. I used up some contact solution from Walgreens. Walgreens contact solution is way more expensive than the Walmart contact solution, but um, I had register awards to use, and so I basically got this, you know, for free. It's nothing special, it's just contact solution. I used up one of my airborne tubes. I actually probably used up two of these, but I think I accidentally threw one away. This is the pink grapefruit. I take this five days a week. I take it every morning during the school year so that I do not get sick. Um, it was invented by a teacher. Um, people say it doesn't work. It works. Like, I swear by this stuff. I like stock up on it. I don't take it in the summer because I'm not out in the public really, but um, yeah, during flu season, I basically take this every morning and it says to mix it in like a huge glass of water. I don't have time for that. So what I actually do is I keep a shot glass by my sink. And so every morning when I'm like doing my hair and makeup, I just put one of the tablets in the shot glass and fill it with water and then just, you know, take it. And it's really good. And I swear it keeps me from getting sick. Like my sister used to get sick all of the time until I told her to start taking this. And so now she does and she like hardly ever gets sick too. So so I am like, ah, I'm throwing it. I'm like religious about taking my airborne. Like I'm religiously, <laughs> like I do not miss my airborne. Um, I'm throwing these away. These are my Flintstone Complete Vitamins. I usually take one of these every day as well. And I used to actually take the Flintstones that are with iron, but um, if you look at the back of the box, the completes actually have more iron in them than the Flintstone iron ones, which I think is really weird. But anyway, um, I haven't taken these in a month or so, and they've been sitting by my sink, and I don't know if you can see them in there, but they have like little black spots, like they got wet, or you know, like the humidity got to them, so um, I mean, it was almost gone. You can see, there's not very many, but I'm throwing those out because I don't want to take those. <laughs> Um, next up, I have a conditioner. This is the Pantene Damage Detox with Mosa Mint Oil Daily Rebuilding Conditioner. This is not special or even memorable. I don't even remember what it smells like. It just smells like conditioner. <laughs> I mean, not so impressed. Whatever. Um, I also used up this. This is my Neil George shampoo and conditioner that I actually got in my most recent birch box. I think I actually got these in my January birch box. So I did a good job of running through those um, as soon as I got them. 
Um, this is supposedly... It's supposed to be like really good for you. I think it like doesn't have any of the paraben sulfate, whatever. Um, this stuff smelled really good. Uh, didn't notice any benefits in my hair. It worked just like any other one. I also used a, this sample set that also came in a birch box. This one I got several months ago. This is the Banditaire Paraben Free Macadamia Oil Nourishing Shampoo and Conditioner. And it says with Argon and Manai. Manoy oils and let me tell you a little bit about this um the shampoo was fine this conditioner and it's just the conditioner is it smells horrible like it smells so bad like it just smells like this is exactly what it smells like. You know when you're a little kid and you get the uh, little container of bubbles and you take out the little bubble wand and you blow the bubbles and what the bubbles smell like? This smells like that. Um, it's not, it smells like bubbles that you blow when you're a little kid. It does not smell like something you want to be putting in your hair. And it's definitely not what you want your hair to smell like all day. It smells so gross. Like... I used it and I actually think it, you know, I think it made my hair uh, way less tangly. I think it did a really good job of like conditioning and smoothing my hair, but the smell, it was disgusting. Like it was everything I could do just to get through this little sample bottle and a sample bottle was like a good three washes and I was just like, oh, it's so gross, but I used it, so whatever. Next up, I have two skincare samples from Birch Boxes and Ipsy's. Um, this one is the Phenome and it's just like a face treatment night cream thing. I don't have the description card anymore, so I can't tell you more about it, but I do remember that this is a uh, like plant-based and it's made in Europe and um it has kind of a like tea tree oil or like a mint mintish smell to it. I actually really enjoyed this. I think it made my skin look hydrated. Um it didn't break me out or anything. I would definitely repurchase this in a full size. Oops, I'm throwing it if it wasn't like really expensive, but it is. Um, I also used up this one, which I didn't like this one as much. This is the Caudalie Polyphenol Serum Defense Anti-Wrinkle Defense Serum. And this one, you know, it didn't break my face out or anything, but it just, uh, I didn't notice any benefits from it. I definitely would not think that the full size of this would be worth the money. Um, I used up a deodorant. This is just a Sure Last All Day Pure Essence Conditioning Solid. It's just your basic deodorant. It smells nice. Um, I got this for like 10 cents with coupons at Walgreens. So um, I just basically use the deodorant I can get for free or nearly free and like I'm not selective at all. Um, I used up one of these Equate Beauty Blemish Control Apricot Scrubs and it says to compare it to St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. Um, I used to buy the St. Ives one but this stuff is literally the exact same thing and it is way cheaper. I think it's cheaper by like 60 cents or maybe even a dollar. So obviously I use this, you know, if I really want to cleanse my face. I, I go through this pretty fast. It's kind of some, I've been using that stuff like the apricot scrub for like 10 years. Like it, probably even more than 10 years. I've been using it since I was like I don't know, like, I, I don't remember a time in my life when I did not use that stuff. Like, it's like a staple. If they quit making it, I don't know what I would do. I would, like, not even be able to wash my face. I used this up, and I really, really liked this stuff. This is the Lee Stafford Argon Oil from Morocco Nourishing Miracle Oil with Pro Argon Complex, a lightweight oil treatment for all hair types. This is just a hair oil. And this, I'm not sure what price it would be normally. And it's got this cute little bulldog at the top. I don't know if you can see him. Um, I'm really not sure what price this would be normally. I got this at Ross. And when I got it at Ross, it was like $10. And I use hair oil every day. Um, and this has a really nice smell. It's uh, kind of like a musky smell. And what I really liked about this is... Um, for one, it lasted me forever. I've probably been using this for like four months. And what I liked about this is a lot of hair oils that I use make your hair stringy and greasy, you know, and like you go to 
style it and it's like got the little it's like stringy it makes your hair oily you know it is hair oil but um this one didn't make my hair greasy or stringy at all and um i really liked it i it was one of the best hair oils i've actually used in a long time i would highly recommend this it's lee stafford argan oil from morocco it is really good stuff all right next up i have some makeup products i used up this alme clear complexion concealer with blemish heal technology um this is just a liquid concealer that has like salicyclic acid or salicylic acid in it I think yes um, it really doesn't help with acne but I'm like hey it can't hurt you know um, at least it's not gonna be breaking my skin out if it's trying to fight breakouts um, and I really just I just use it as a basic concealer and I get this stuff for super cheap when Alme has their um, $5 coupons that they put out sometimes um, this is normally like eight bucks and so if I go to Walgreens and use one of those $5 coupons it's like three bucks and then I can use like points and get it for free so I use this this concealer quite a bit. It's a good liquid concealer. It has good coverage. Um, I used up this. It looks really gross. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. And you can't really even see it, but there it is. This is the Urban Decay Perversion App Mascara. I got this from my Ipsy bag, I believe. Um, here is the wand. I really, really liked this mascara. I really liked it. Um, I used up the whole sample. It's totally gone. If I didn't have a million gazillion mascaras that I need to use, I would so buy this. So Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, really good stuff. I thoroughly enjoyed the sample. All right, this I am throwing out. Actually, what I thought was interesting about this is it actually has an expiration date printed on it. I wish that all cosmetics would do that. I don't know why they don't. Um, but this actually expired in December 2013, so it's like a year past its expiration date. This is by CoverGirl. This is the Nature Lux Luxury Touched by Nature SPF 15 Sunscreen Gloss Balm, and this is in the color Grenache. And I really liked this when I first got it. It, it um, they came out with this Nature Lux line a couple of years ago, and it had like this light green packaging. Hopefully you can see that, and it had like little leaves behind it. And this, it's like a, it's like a lipstick, but it's it's a balm. It's like a tinted lip balm. It's got like a really nice taupe coloring to it, and I just really enjoyed the color. Um, next up, I went through one of my Mary Luminizers. I go through these like nobody's business. Um, I actually had some left around the edges but then my dog knocked it off the counter and it shattered everywhere so it has to go bye bye I'm already working on another one I have like four or five in backup I cannot live I cannot live without this right here can't live without it can't do my makeup without it cannot I cannot survive without this this is like my number one product that I would like shrivel up and die if it went away all right I used up two wallflowers this is the twisted peppermint one and the Twisted Peppermint Wallflower was kind of a disappointment. I really love this scent in body care and in the candle, but um, it just like, it smells great, but like you just, it had like no scent throw. Like I put it in the wallflower burner and I would like walk right by it and I smelled nothing. I also have this pumpkin gingerbread wallflower. This was actually like the first one I put in this fall season and it lasts forever. Like uh, this one kind of was worn out of the first of the month, but um, this one was really nice. Uh, pumpkin gingerbread is one of my new favorite scents. Like I absolutely loved it in candle form um, and the wallflower was really nice. It was actually pretty strong. So I was pleased with this one. Um, I used up this Forever Red from Bath and Body Works. You know, you spray it on, but then like, it's kind of like a body spray, like 10 minutes later, you don't smell it anymore. So eh, whatever, I just used it up to get rid of it. Um, and then the last sample I used up was Justin Bieber, the key. Certain people, like I like their scents that they pick to put in their perfumes. Not that I like the artist or anything, but like the scents that they select to make up their perfumes like I like them um, so like the Rihanna perfumes I, I don't really care about Rihanna but I like like all the perfumes she releases I like them Jessica Simpson don't really care but all of her perfumes I seem to like them um, Jennifer Lopez I like a lot of her perfumes so it's like I have this thing with Justin Bieber perfumes like um, I like his perfumes all of the new scents he comes out with I smell them and I'm like oh, I really like that so um, I actually already have the key 
pee. I got it, I think, at Walmart. Um, I used this sample even though I already have the, you know, perfume. I thought I would use the sample up so I could throw it away. All right, so that is it for my January empties video. Sorry it is so long, but I did have quite a few products that I used up, so now they're gonna go in the trash. And let me know what you used up this month. What did you think of the empties video? Have you tried any of these things? Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.